Shalom. Kalayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem or Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the occupant of you, Akwath, across the four winds. This is your brother Batamayim from Great Millstone Houston coming to you with a lesson. I saw this article on CNN and uh, I just wanted to really read like this first little portion here that I screenshotted and then, you know, bring out a few precepts. Lord willingness is edifying. The heading says, don't store cash in Venmo and PayPal, U.S. regulators warns. Uh, New York CNN, payment apps like PayPal and Venmo might be convenient, but they are not banks. So, you know, people have been using PayPal, you know, you can actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can buy um, items through PayPal. Uh, Venmo, you can do transfers of money. I haven't used those in, in so long, so forgive me for that, but if I'm not mistaken. But they are pretty convenient. Uh, but of course they're not banks, but why would you want to store your money in banks when you have all these banks collapsing? You know? Not only that, the dollar is collapsing very fast. There's a lot of companies getting rid of the dollars. I, I'm not not companies, countries that are getting rid of the dollar. But and a federal financial services watchdog is worried that too many consumers are treating them as such. So people are, <clears throat> are holding their money on there instead of letting the the bank hold their money as to where they can invest. Because that's pretty much what banks do. They take your money. They only can, they only um, are required to, I guess, hold a certain amount in the actual bank. But even, um, what's that, the, um, through the situation, through their bank, I can't think of the name right now, but they, uh, they're only responsible for a certain amount of money to give you to. I want to say it's up to like 250000 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so some consumers are using services like PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and Apple Pay for direct deposit of paychecks or simply storing lots of cash in them. <clears throat> and I've been knowing, I know like the last several years that Cash App has been a real, um, a real major, you know, uh, way of sending and receiving money. They even have Cash App cards. <clears throat> so you can use your cash app card as if it's a regular debit card instead of going through, you know, Chase and Bank of America and all these other big banks. So now that you're not getting your direct deposit, uh, these banks, they can't charge you fees. Yeah. Whether it's an overdraft fee or I know I was getting charged when I was in Chase. Um for not having a certain amount of money in the in my account but so they were charging me a fee for not having a certain amount of money in the account but i was still getting money coming in you know through payments through the type of work that i was doing so i'm like why y'all charge me i thought it was either you know if you had a certain amount of money or if you're receiving this type of money in and uh and you know either or so getting a certain amount of money let's just say 1500 uh, you know, coming in monthly or opposed to having, you know, 2000 in your account at all times. And they were like, well, you don't meet both of the requirements. I was like, I thought it was either or, you know, they just kind of make up their rules as they go, especially JP Morgan. You know, he's pretty grimy. If you go into that history of, you know, that family, they still grimy to this day. I, I'll never forget the article I read <laughs> where there's a cargo. They had a cargo ship that uh, sees 1.3 billion worth of cocaine that was just the street money so that actually was probably way more than 1.3 billion especially on a cargo ship cargo ships is what you know pretty much everything has come in all your items comes in on but you know i just want to let me bring out a few precepts second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices so he wants you to store your money in these banks where you run the risk of losing money. Let's just say you're a millionaire. You have a million in a bank. You know, they're only um, responsible for 250000 So what are the rest of my money? Why can't I go to a bank and withdraw how much money I want? 
So that's why people are using other avenues like Cash App. You just get a Cash App card, you can spend it however you want to. You can, you know, make withdrawals. I'm not sure if you get uh, ATM fees or anything, but hell, mostly everything is swiping the card anyway. So it'll be pointless, you know, to go through a bank when you can just do Cash App. But all of this really, you know, all roads leads to the um, that micro caragma that's going to go under your skin, that mark of the beast. So that's what they really trying to gear, get geared towards, you know, towards the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, you know, which is going to be ran all through um, the Fed now. And then ultimately, it's going to be on that micro caragma that's going to go underneath your skin so that you could buy a sale. Uh, so Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now that that word mark there is, is karagma you know which is you know um a stamp or an imprint you know going to an incision that that micro that micro is gonna go underneath your skin, that, that grain of rice that, so that you can buy or sell. You know, and so he calls it all, and who was he? That's Esau Edom, the so self-proclaimed white man. You know, the higher up, these elites, the Caucasians, not you everyday Caucasians, and it's not about skin color, but when it's in reference to them, they try to, they inbreed, they have incest, so they keep it within their family. So, you know, it's those are the Edomites. You know, Esau Edom. So it's causing all, both, uh, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So, pretty much, a lot of people that use Cash App, I just use Cash App as an example. It's a lot of um, poor people. It's, it's a lot of Jakes. You know, Jake is short for Jacob. You know, you, you so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans, which are you Israelites. So they use cash up. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to get you to, to go to banks. And I'm sure a lot of people have had banks or they just particularly don't want banks. So they don't have to go through all that nonsense of process of, you know, going into a bank or going online and filling out your personal information and things of that sort. Um, Revelation 13 and 17 and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So when you're going to buy and selling, that's pretty much what they're doing. They don't want you to use your cash app card to buy and sell. So ultimately they want you to have that uh, that mark, which is that, um, that micro caragma, so that you can buy or sell. You know, swipe your, your, uh, your palm, your hand, which they have at some stores now they have uh facial recognition so it'll scan your forehead pretty much like how they uh they have it set up in china and then you have uh what was that uh charles swab or carl swab, whatever his name is swab or the um world economic forum the wef they um they want to model everything, especially here in America, after China. And then, let me see. Let's go into Revelation 14 and 9. So if you do take that uh, micro karagma, this will be the result, the consequence, you know, the reward. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, so when you go into um, worship the beast in his image, you know, you don't want to worship Esau Edom in this system, which is based off of Rome. You know, they have, it's Rome 2.0. It's Rome reincarnated. You have uh, pretty much the same architecture, uh, like the same stadiums, uh, all kind of uh, images nowadays that you see it's based off of Rome, uh, the way that they set up like the uh, the Senate and the government status, the hierarchy in the government is pretty much set up the same way. And then Revelation 14 and 10, 
the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And indignation is his righteous anger. Anger, so like it. Indignation is a righteous anger. So you don't want that, uh, you know how they say you don't want to get, uh, see a black man mass, you know, a so called black man, which Yahweh Shai. You don't want to see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai angry. Because if they come down with that wrath, it's not going to be a pretty, uh, a pretty sight. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That fire and brimstone, you're going to be tormented with is those nuclear missiles, those ICBM, intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles. You know, they're going to get here in less than an hour and it's going to destroy this place in an hour. And you're going to be tormented with fire. And, and to be tormented, it, it's going to feel like a long period of time. Like it's going to drag out. It's not going to just be a, a, a quick, you know, burning sensation. Oh, it, the Lord is going to have his spirits in those ICBM nuclear missiles to where you feel that for a long time. And we're trying to avoid that. So all roads lead to the, you know, the micro Caragua. And, you know, Lord willing, we don't take it. We don't want to be wrapped up in, in a society and their judgment of receiving that micro caragma, but be not ignorant of his devices. But that's all I had on this. Lord Willingness was edified. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakakwadash, Baba Ba, and Shalom.